Welcome to the Simply Incredible Podcast, starring The D. I am Daryl, a.k.a. The D. And tonight we'll be discussing the Batman movies pre-Christopher Nolan. We've got five movies to discuss tonight, and my guest will be Troy Chantney. Hello, I'm back. And the first movie we'll discuss is Batman the Movie from 1966, and we'll throw in a little discussion about Batman the Series. I love it. So, you seen the movie? Yeah, in fact, when I was a kid, that was probably my introduction to superheroes, you know, on TV mm -hmm. or anything like that, yep. um, because it, it would come on every day after school, and I would run home to make sure that I was there, because not only was it incredible to see Batman for real on the big screen, yep. um, but every day it was a cliffhanger, so you'd have to come back. Yep. And it's funny looking back on them, how silly some of the scenarios and how kind of, you know, redundant they were. Yeah. At that age, I absolutely loved them. I loved them. To this day, I mean, I love them. They're now, great. Now, from the series, I mean, it had so many of the characters, like Mr. Freeze, and he just looked awful. To me, he looked awful. He had like a shiny, almost space suit. Yeah. With like a little cone on top. Yeah. But I still loved it. But you know what? As a kid, I didn't know any different. Mm -hmm. Now, I was already reading Batman comic books. Right. And I'd seen that, you know, a bunch of the artists had their own take on it. So mm -hmm. he didn't have, like, like Batman had a uniform. He had the cowl, the yep. ears, you know, the open chin area and mouth. And the cape, utility. I mean, that, that was a uniform. Yeah. And Mr. Gold, he pretty much was bundled up. <laughs> had a backpack on that connected, like, to the first Ghostbuster gizmo. Yeah. You know, and I was like, yeah, was man. freezing the roads, and that was great. So I had a lot more leeway with what I was going to let them get away with yeah. on that. And then... Um, See, what else in the series, first off? What things did you like in the series, dislike in the series? Okay. Hands down, outside of, you know, actually seeing them, you know, on screen. Because right. back then there was no internet. There was no videos that you could go, no fan films, uh, no video games. I mean, there, there just wasn't there. To, so to see it actually on TV right. was just huge. But the biggest thing, and it has affected me to this day, was... Um, Batman's, uh, the Batmobile mm -hmm. and the Batcave. Oh, I love the Batmobile. Absolutely loved it. To to this day, if anyone asks me, you know, hey, you know, give me some of your bucket list items. Two of those items are going to have to do with Batman. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a home that is built with my own Batcave. And in said Batcave with secret entrance, I'm going to have a Batmobile. I owe it to seven-year-old Troy. Yeah. You know, so that, that was my favorite. See, one of the things I loved is, well, maybe not every episode, but just about every episode, the wall climb. Oh, uh, yeah. And they'd go past that window, <laughs> and most of the time, some celebrity would pop their head out. Oh, man. And he was like, I love those. Who's going to come on here? We got Sammy Davis Jr. popping his head out. But you know what? And As a kid, when I saw that, I didn't get it. It's like, why are they always having these guys come out? Like, Jerry Lewis, I yeah, had Jerry seen him in movies. Mm -hmm. Like, what is Jerry Lewis doing here? And how come they, they look so like, hey, Batman. <laughs> yeah, I'd like, freak out if someone was climbing up the side of the building. Like, and citizen, please step back in. We're going. And, yeah, and I'm like, well, okay, really, dude? Oh, dude. <laughs> and I always thought it was so cheesy, and I loved it. It was fun, and because When I was really young, I was like, how are they walking up there so easily? They just, and it was great. Oh, dude. And i tell you something else I loved. Um, did you like um, uh, the fight scenes? <laughs> the Biff, Bam, the Pals. The Biff, Bam, on. Pal. <laughs> I got into that. I thought that was so cool. In fact, as a kid, you know, there was a couple of things that I, I really loved that had a real big hold on me. I loved Batman's fighting. Yeah. I loved Kung Fu theater. Yeah. And pro mm -hmm. wrestling, you know, uh -huh. all these things. And when I would see them fight, I would be like, this is how you do it. <laughs> That's, you know, that this is, is how this you, is how they really fight. Dude, I've got to take notes here. You know, and I was like, man, I could win some fights if I just had somebody grab me by the arm and kind of pick me up as I kicked them in the feet, yeah, uh, <laughs> or kicked with my feet. So, I love the fight scene. And speaking of, uh, of some of the the fights, Bruce Lee as Kato with the Green Hornet fighting Batman and Robin. Now, I gotta admit, I didn't know about that fight scene until years later. Yeah. And to, to be honest, I don't remember as a kid the Green Hornet as a show I ever watched. I never saw it. The only reason that I um, 
found out about it, I was a big Bruce Lee, not, you know, in junior high and high school. And then starting to dig in and find other things. Did you watch it live? Like when oh, no, it, that was before I was a boy. I mean, I mean, not yeah. live, yeah. but I mean, when I was, as when I was a kid, young, I remember seeing these fights. I didn't know who Bruce Lee was. Uh -huh. I just knew Batman and Robin, they're fighting someone else. Did you see them fight Kato like yeah, as a kid? I, I, I saw him. And the Greenhorn? Yeah, kidding. and then later on, um, it comes on about every Saturday. I think they have like a run about five or six episodes. What? On on TV now. What, the Green Hornet? No, no, no. Oh, Batman. That, that actually did come on for a little while, the whole series, and I got to watch the whole series. What would you think of it? I thought it was fun. I, I really liked it. It was kind yeah, of Batman-esque, right? Well, the reason I think I really liked it is like, hey, look, there's Bruce Lee. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, the, the icon for me. You know, you own martial arts school. Oh. I trained at the school. Bruce Lee is the icon. Oh, without a doubt. Without a yeah, doubt. Yeah, he's one of those people that you look back and like, man, if I could meet him, I would I would give everything I own. Oh, man. As okay, a, maybe not quite everything, but a lot of things. But a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> I would be poorer. Yes, I'd be much poorer. Now, I, I really loved um, afterwards when I saw that fight scene. And, mm -hmm. and we were talking about this um, last week, though, where Robin, um, Burt Ward, was yeah. actually a little bit nervous about yeah. the the scene that he had to fight Bruce Lee. He goes, "Man, I don't know about this. That guy, I don't know, man. He's yeah. he's awesome. I'm yeah, I'm an actor." I remember reading that Bruce was like, "Yeah, I'm not losing this fight." <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at the two, you're like, "Yeah, he would not lose that fight." No, <laughs> different worlds right there. The only one I ever thought was realistic there would have been against Chuck Norris, but oh, that that was good. Yeah, in the Coliseum. Good stuff, but anyway. Good stuff totally off topic <laughs> now what about the villains villains were villains, also huge villains. for me i mean like most of those villains i love to this day to this day um, they kind of define yeah. that character yeah. like the penguin yeah i love that character he he just did a great job catwoman we had four different catwomans oh there was yeah. a three i think it was three different catwomans yeah yeah we had like three that's right mm -hmm. there was three and then it's just and i loved it man to this day, it's funny because even in the stuff that we're seeing now come out, you know, with the, the later films and now on TV with Gotham, yeah. I'm looking at it and it, whether, you know, right or wrong, that first template of seeing the villains portrayed mm -hmm. that way is so, you know, deeply seated in, in my psyche. I was like, man, no, nah, that's, they're not doing it right, you know? Yeah. And I try not to take and be too, you know, wanting them to stay you know by the same thing the older i get the more i do want to see some different takes on yeah, it you know totally agree and gotham but, i love gotham oh dude but i i love those takes they're special you mm -hmm. know like yep. with the original you know burgess meredith burgess meredith mm -hmm. you know um caesar romero caesar romero um who else do we have in there frank uh gorshin as oh is the, the riddler? riddler i thought he's a great riddler he was he was he's a great actor he was you know and it's funny because I saw him in a couple other things growing up, and it was funny because he was, you know, he did a lot of stuff back then. But when I saw him, I was like, "Oh my God, the Riddler's in this yeah. movie!" It's a cowboy movie or mm -hmm. something, you know. And, and I was telling you the same thing about um, what was his name, um, Burgess Meredith. When I saw him in Rocky, oh. I was like, "Dude, the Penguin is coaching Rocky. <laughs> this is awesome." <laughs> Now the penguins, his gadgets and stuff, mm -hmm. they were always they were fun as a kid. I remember watching those things, and now they're completely lame. Yeah. But back then, I mean, they it was creative and it was fun. I, I like that whole feeling. And we talked about this one other time: the Joker with the painted over mustache. <laughs> <laughs> like, Caesar Romero says, "You're not touching you're, the stash." This, this is this is part of me. You cannot have this. He's not a member of the Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> He's like, no. But you know, I loved his Joker. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he had so many things about that, just like his his um, his ways that he did it, that I just defined that character for me. Now, the good guys, Batman, Robin and Batgirl. Hottie boom body. Yeah. Yvonne Craig. And, and sadly, she just recently passed yeah, away. Rest in peace. And she hey, I remember I just watched that not too long. ago. I think, man, she was she was really good as Batgirl. Yeah. So far to me, the defining Batgirl. Yeah. And, and I'll because tell you this. We only had Alicia Silverstone. So. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny, too, because like we'll talk in some of the other stuff. A lot of the characters, when they bring them in as Batgirl or something, mm -hmm. it's almost an afterthought. Like, hey. I know you're not a superhero, but put this on and you will be right now. Yeah. It's like, I wasn't a second ago, but now you got me out here fighting, you know, crime. Because it's funny, it's her cow had hair on it too. 
So she wouldn't look exactly the same. Right, right, right. That's right. And, I, I like that. And one last thing about those Batman movies and the the uh, cartoon, uh, the uh, series, yeah, was everything in the Batcave had a label on it. <laughs> I always thought that was the cheesy things like Batman doesn't know where the water fountain is. The, it's the bat fountain. Yeah, the bat fountain. You got a bat computer. <laughs> and the one that cracked me up the most, there's an arrow that says bat stairs. <laughs> and then right over, like, it couldn't have been five feet away. There's an arrow pointing bat stairs. I love it's it. It's like two bat stairs, and there's the bat stairs. Like, are you serious? You know what I always wondered, too? I remember when they would take him, they go, to the bat cave. Yeah. And they would take the statue, open, you know, it up for his head going back mm -hmm. and click the button. The bookcase slides, and they go to the poles and slide down. Yeah. And as they land, they're dressed. And I don't know why, but as a kid, man, that just was like, so how do they get into the clothes on the way down? I kept thinking like a firefighter, you know, and I was like, that's what my, they must do. They slide into the clothes. I'm like, Troy, yeah, they're not noticed, sliding down naked. <laughs> if you notice, both poles were labeled. So I always wondered, now, if they got in the wrong pole. Would Batman they, come down in Robin's outfit? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that is so funny. Dude, but I, I love that. And um, the next one we, we were talking about was um, 1989, Batman, the movie. This is the movie that really said, really, to me, to this day, set up everything. Yeah. With and Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. What did you think on that movie? Was that as big for you as, you know, anything that we've seen since, you know, at the time? To me, I, I look forward to that movie because when I heard about it, yep. I mean, I was so into Batman comics. I was in Superman too, but Batman was my guy. And I was just like, man, this is going to be great. And I just yeah. don't ruin it. Just don't mess it up. I know. I had that same feeling. Like, please don't mess this up. And when I sat there in up. the theater and watched this movie, I was like, they did not mess it up. Oh, it was good. And, and I loved it. I mean, there's some little things you can nitpick. Oh, but yeah. But I think for overall, I was like, man, this movie was wonderful. Oh, dude, I loved it. And I remember being so pumped up because it's funny how I said, you know, back then we'd never seen anything live action on mm -hmm. screen. You yep. know, not like this. You actually got to see Batman on screen. Well, now it's going to Hollywood and it's not a campy, funny comedy half hour thing. Yep. You had a real serious director in Tim Burton, creatively just incredible, mm -hmm. you know, genius. And they're going to put real money. Warner Brothers can put real money behind this and they're going to really do it. And I, I was like, what? A feature film, a huge deal. I was so excited. I could not see straight. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, did you go and buy? I remember. I don't know why. It's so geeky. But I went and I said, you know what? I'm going to have to go and f buy me a brand new Batman t-shirt. Something special for the, you know, going to watch this movie. <laughs> um, and I did you do that? Did no, you buy I did. it? I actually, you already had one? No. Actually, after the movie, I immediately went to, I want to say, jc pennies i believe oh, no i think doubt. that's where it was and i got <laughs> my shirt right afterwards because i was like okay i can proudly want you know, wear this shirt and everyone's going to be like yeah he saw batman he saw batman, he saw batman. oh it was a good movie though mm -hmm. but i also remember one of the things you know because anticipation i love mm -hmm. i love as much as you know actually seeing the movie i love the enjoyment of the anticipation of getting built up I'm not a real big spoiler guy. I don't want to see spoilers. Yeah. And back then, it wasn't an issue because we didn't have the internet. Yeah. But, you know, I remember when the newspaper came out that Friday that it was opening up. And, I mean, on the movie section, it was a full front page thing. Batman. Mm -hmm. And as a comic collector, I was like, dude, that's going to be collectible. I need to hold on to that, man. I think I still got it. See, I never even thought about that. Oh, man, as a collector? Awesome. Oh, dude, I was like, I need to hold on. It was front page. I'll go back in, in my stuff and see if I can get it. But it jazzed me up mm -hmm. so much that, you know, they were given this kind of you know publicity to it. Yeah. But the movie itself, too, Keaton, when I first heard about that, not happy. Yeah. I'm thinking this is a comedian. Yeah. Why is he going to be Batman? Batman is supposed to be, you know, the pinnacle of human, you know, potential, yeah. physicality. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, somebody was telling me, they said, well, listen, if he can do comedy... That's the toughest thing in the dramatic arts to do. If he can make you laugh, the other stuff he can do easy. See, okay. I, I was also worried just the slightest bit about Nicholson. Really? Because I, I had you ever seen him do anything? I'd seen um, a couple movies before that. I mean, nothing too much. But and I was like, is this guy really the Joker? When right. I'm th when I'm thinking of Joker from '66, can he do that? He didn't do that. 
Oh, right. He made it his role. Oh, he did. Fantastic. And, and to me, I st- and I, I know I get a lot of grief from this when I say it is still my favorite Joker. Even more than the Heath Ledger. Even more than Heath Ledger. And and to me, I think they both were unbelievable and brought the character alive. Oh, yeah, totally, man. In two totally massive different ways. Oh, yeah. And I, I look, I could put, put the two together and go, they're both unbelievable. Yeah, I agree with that. In fact, I hate when people say which one was better. Yeah. Why does there have to be a better one? That's kind of lame because it's like, look, man, it's apples and oranges. They both did their thing on it. You know, take and, and love the fact that you had two incredible actors do this thing. And Jack Nicholson, when he did that, I didn't see him in any stuff before. You know, I was a kid still. Mm-hmm. And uh, then everybody was all talking about it. The people that I respected, they go, that's a big name actor. I mean, he's like yeah. an Oscar winner. And so I was like. That's a big deal, right? And they go, yeah. that's a really big deal. Yeah, he'll do great. Mm-hmm. And he did. Yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, he just knocked that completely out of the park. What was your favorite part of that movie? Because there's a bunch of great parts in there. I mean, for me, so many Nicholson lines. I mean, he just had so many one-liners. This town needs an enema. Wait till they get a look Wait at me. Wait till they get a look at me. That was great, yeah, right? And, yeah. um, and then, like, at the end of scenes, when he would do those one-lines, he would make a little sound with it. Like whoop whoop. I remember him doing that, and yeah. I said, "This guy is off his rocker." Yeah, I was like, man. what is this? Why did he do that? <laughs> and, and to this day, when I see it, I still crack up. But my favorite actual scene is when he uh, shook the guy's hand, and the guy fried right there. Dude, I re- I wasn't expecting that, and I was yeah. cracked up laughing. I did not expect that when I saw that. I was like, "That dude is straight up evil. He killed his own teammate. Yeah. You know, his own guys." Mm-hmm. But you know, now you know, reading so much more after mm-hmm. that. Um, cause I read a lot of stuff. I remember some of the best stuff I ever was into as a kid was the artwork by Neil Adams, which mm-hmm. to this day I love. Mm-hmm. He's one of my favorite artists who does Batman and they, they had an edge to him already, you know, in that time. But, you know, reading more about some different takes on it. It's like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he's supposed to be evil. Yeah. I mean like really, really evil. Mm-hmm. But, um, uh, I tell you what I love. I love the fight scene in the bell t- tower yeah. too. That was great. Yeah, the punch in the mouth. <laughs> hey, okay, what about this? Bat suit. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I loved it. Thumbs up, me too. Yeah. To me, even though I love the, the traditional 66, it, it, could, it couldn't hold a candle. Dude, Sylvester Stallone even said that was the death of action movies. He mm-hmm. goes, when an actor can wear a suit like that and have all the muscles I worked, you know, endlessly for, what do they need me for? Exactly. Isn't that funny that yeah. he said that? All right, Batmobile. Thumb up, thumb down. See, I really liked it, even though I still love the original better. Yep. But well, the original, to me, yeah. that's the Batmobile. Mm-hmm. And, and for me, it's just like, I thought it was great. And, and the one gadget I still don't know what happened is when they went around the turn real sharp and he shot the... The harpoon? Yeah, it shot the harpoon. I was like, well, how did that thing let go? Or they come back and pick that up later? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Dude, the one thing about the Batmobiles that I didn't like, because they looked good like statuesque and Batman-y, mm-hmm. they just... For the most part, I didn't think they looked fast. I thought they looked like bulky and slow because I could tell now you can see they're on a sound stage. Yeah. So there's only so fast. They're not like as opposed to the stuff we'll talk about later with, you know, the tumbler and all. Yeah. But that one was okay. I'll give that one a thumb sideways. Thumb sideways. Thumb sideways. Is it? Yeah. Because I love the 66 Batmobile. That mm-hmm. to me, I love. That is a huge thumb up. This one, yeah, it was good. It's just not, not my favorite. Yeah. So this takes us to... Batman Returns. Hey, the if it penguin. was so good the first time, they had to come back again, right? Yeah, with the, the Penguin, Danny DeVito. Yeah, and Keaton again. Keaton again. Keaton is Batman yeah. again, and Tim Burton again directing. And All right, what would you think of the Penguin? The Penguin just killed me. Because <laughs> I know you hated it. I, I hated that character. I, I, cause I used to always watch Danny DeVito. I used to see him in Taxi all the time. Yeah. And I was just like, and I thought, well, you know, you know I... I gave Nicholson a chance and he blew it out of the water. He's like, you know what? Tim Burton knows what he's doing. He well, Tim Burton guys. must have been a real fan of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest because yeah. if you see that, Danny DeVito, that's one of his first roles too. No, that's right, it was. Yeah, and uh-huh. you're like, okay, he really said, I'm drawing from the crazy house here. Mm-hmm. Not a bad idea. Yeah. You know. I mean, for these characters, yeah. But I just thought they just took it in a direction. I, I just like, you know, living in a in an igloo. Yeah. In a... In a was that in a in a zoo? Yeah, I was yeah. like, really? And then he's got that little paddle boat. Yeah, I was like, oh, man, this that's well, you know, dumb. that uh, that was more than any other where uh, place in this movie was really you could see Tim Burton's stamp on it. Yeah, 
because Tim Burton, like I said, he is a genius. But yeah, a lot of his stuff to me can come across looking like The Nightmare Before Christmas. Which I love that movie too. <laughs> well, and it's, it's that's the thing, time and place for everything. Right. And when I see this, you know, everybody wearing like striped socks and you know, having a striped umbrella and it's all gory and gothy and stuff, I'm like, nah, I think that was in the Nightmare, you know, Before Christmas. And uh, Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer. To this day, one of my favorite Catwomans of all time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Yep incredible outfit incredible actress i mean to me that was by far the highlight of that movie oh without a doubt when i watched it i was like this is the Catwoman." that i i believed it dude she yeah. is such a good actress mm -hmm. and that kind of brings me to the other kind of villain christopher, christopher walken, walken. Mm -hmm. because i didn't know who he was i feel bad because now i know who all these people are you know but these were my first places to see some of these people. Yeah, Christopher Walken, I had no knowledge of him going into that. None at all. And he's like, yo, my hair, my hair. And I'm like, dude, who is this guy? Why is he a bad guy? He doesn't have a, you know, a secret power, you know, or a twisted, like, little, you know, like the penguin, the yeah. cat woman, the joker. He didn't have a name or nothing. This is Chris Walken. <laughs> so what do you think about, I mean, penguin, like, eating the fish and stuff like that? I just thought that's just gross. Well, when I saw <laughs> that, I remember that left an impression on me. I was like, what was that about? This guy is not just a criminal. He's, like, weird. Yeah. He's, he's eating fish and, like, his... Like, he would bite your hand if he was hungry enough. Because <laughs> that's about where he would be. I mean, about that short. Yeah. You're there sitting at the <laughs> bus stop and all of a sudden... <laughs> 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 little midget bit me, you know. I would not be into that, right, dude? And I was like, no, man, that, that guy. There's something off with him. Mm -hmm. But he should have henchmen. Yeah, somebody who would bite your hand at the bus stop. He should have henchmen. Should have a lot of henchmen. Or as my son likes to, he likes to play the Lego Batman. Uh -huh. Goons. The goons. The goons. Goon one, goon two. <laughs> it's funny that was in the old series too. Hey, dude, if you play that, had a number on it. Oh, I love those Lego games. I love those Lego Batman <laughs> like you're games. You're sitting there smashing like little chunks go everywhere. Like, that's great. Dude, that's good fun. Mm -hmm. But um, the bat suit at the end, good, well, remember when you ripped the cowl and it yeah. looked like it was made of rubber? Yeah. And all of a sudden, it was like, to me, I'm like, man, you just like really made him look weak mm -hmm. and yep. impotent. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, not cool. You know? But the story, even the story wasn't as good in that one. Yeah. I, I thought to me, it's just the only, again, the only highlight for me in that movie was Catwoman. Yeah. Because that to me was, that is my comic book Catwoman. Now, they changed the outfits a little bit. Mm -hmm. Make a big difference to you at all, like with Batman? I didn't really pay much attention to that one. Just little small things, but, you know, yeah. there were some changes, but like, it's still a good suit. Yeah, Batman coming forward, we do have some issues. Uh, yeah. In the <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> Batmobile in this one, thumb up, thumb down. Because they made some changes on the Batmobile, yeah, too. Again, that one, I just didn't pay much attention to it. You know, that says a lot about the movie, right? Just yeah. kind of forgettable. Yeah. I, I mean, As, it, Except it really, for Michelle when, Pfeiffer. When you're sitting there asking me that, I really just thought it was the same Batmobile. I didn't even remember there being a difference. Dude. <laughs> well, now, is there anything else on that one that you wanted to go over? No, I think we got that All right. one. At right, least, yeah. Well, unless we just talk more bad stuff hey, about it. Well, do you <laughs> you give that one definitely, it sounds like that's a, yeah, the that's whole a movie as a whole is a thumbs that, down. That, to me, is a... A thumb sideways leaning downwards because it, it's still going to keep going down from yeah, here. Yeah. And to me, I don't want to give it straight down because we've got more direction to go that's further down. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Batman in 66, what letter grade are you going to give that? I'd probably give that about a B. Okay, okay. Batman with Keaton. Keaton, um, to me, that's a A+. Plus. Okay, I'll, I'll A+. Throw plus. Couple, I'll throw a couple more pluses on that one. Okay. Today, it's, yeah, I put that right there with the Dark Knight. Is my two favorite Batmans, and I, I can, to me, that's a one A one B for me. Oh, dude, okay. I love okay. those two. What, what grades are you on, the, on those first two as well? Uh, man, I tell you what, the I know that it's it's not the top notch stuff mm -hmm. in '66, mm -hmm. but it was so special to me. I mean, yeah. to this day, that is really special to me. I'd probably give that an A for, you know, for what it was. Yeah. Because no, it's not Heath Ledger. Yeah. You know. But for what it was, I, I yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. And the Batman uh, with Keaton, same thing with you, man. I love that movie. I, I thought that was good. That, I won't give it an A plus though. I'd probably give it an A minus. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like some of the Joker's little smiley. God. I didn't like that. I 
love I didn't like those. the long pistol he pulls out. Yeah, and that's one of the things I, I, I saw. I was like, did, does that thing have an extension on it as he pulls it out? How, how does that work? Because yeah. he just gets up walking around. And then he sh shoots his number one guy. Number one guy. And, and, and you know, I'll tell you what else I didn't like. I didn't like when he was in the museum and comes in with his goons with a jam box, a boom box. And, I just love that scene. And he starts going to Prince's music. Yeah. And I'm like, no. I just bought that CD a couple weeks ago for that song. You are killing me. That is awful. That was awesome. That took it from plus to solid to minus. I was like, done. <laughs> now, all right, great for the, uh, the third one. The third one, uh Man. Be nice. Man. Be nice. Don't I, drive I, angry. I've, I've got room to go down after this too, so I, I'm going. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you got to you got to think of what we I have. I mean, Devito. Up. I like Devito in so many things, but this was just brutal for me. Yeah, I, me and, too. I, I'm like a D at best. At best. At best. <laughs> I just I just put my name on that movie, and it's a D, and that's not that's, that's bad. Not, that's not good for 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 grading. Because normally that's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> I I'll give that. A C. Not a bouncy C. Not a D, though, man. Not a D. That, that but was, I, you know what? I can't argue with you. Yeah. That, I mean, to me, it's just, it hurt. I mean, you know what? That's like getting I, a test I, back I, and you, know you got I a 79. Thought about, yeah, I just thought about it. I'm going to give it a C minus. Okay. Mich Michelle Pfeiffer brought it up yes. from a D. Yes. I mean, she's worth more <laughs> she, than she a D. She took it from D past D plus to, to C minus. And that, Dude, that's pretty good for Cal I'll do C minus. I'll, I'll go with C minus. <laughs> uh, next one Batman Forever. Directed by Joel Schumacher. They had enough of Burton. Mm -hmm. They said, let's bring a new guy yeah. in. Epic fail. Yeah, epic. <laughs> yeah, Two Face and the Riddler in this one. Okay. Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey. And oh, well, you know what? Let's also say uh, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer as, Batman. as Batman. Yeah. Which, that's me right off the bat hurt. Uh, Did you not like him as a choice? Well, to, uh, to me, he wasn't Michael Keaton. And I thought Michael Keaton did a great job but i never thought michael keaton was batman mm -hmm. i always thought batman should be like i mean he should be almost you know the perfect guy mm -hmm. right? he should yep. be good looking and built and huge and smart and just i mean he should be everything and michael keaton he's got a lot of the qualities that you'd look at hey man yeah but he just doesn't look the part and it did it took me out of it as much as i hate to say that right. val kilmer yeah, man, Batman would be. I mean, he'd look like Val yeah, Kilmer at the time. He was, Old Val Kilmer, not Val Kilmer yeah, today. At the time, he was one of the top hunks around. He was, man. He was, and and I can't remember. Did you ever find out? Was this after or before Tombstone, where he did his Doc Holiday? I did not check that out. I'm almost positive, and I hate to I hate to think this, that on the strength of his um, movie his role as Doc Holliday in Tombstone, mm -hmm. that it was like, dude, let's let's get uh, this guy. He needs to be a hero. I just found out. And? Tombstone, 93. Batman Forever, 95. I'm telling you. There it is. I'm telling you. Because I remember seeing him in that and just love that. You know. And Top Gun was well before that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Still love that movie. But anyway. Still love that, but he was almost a bad guy in that. Yeah. Not a bad guy, but he was not the hero. Yeah. But, all right. Two Face, man, that that was rough. That was awful. Tommy I, Lee I, Jones is awesome. His Two Face was not. That was just bad. Um, Jim Carrey as Riddler. I I, I actually like that, even though it, it was, was not bad. It, but it, it was, was Jim Carrey. It was, yeah, it was Jim Carrey just being Jim Carrey. Yeah, which is funny because I like Jack Nicholson being the Joker. Yeah, and that's basically him being himself too. Well, I've always said, you know, you have to have somebody who is in these roles who is not gotten to the point in their career where they themselves are a recognizable brand yeah like say tom cruise mm -hmm. all right tom cruise if he makes a movie that's a tom cruise movie and he was campaigning for iron man for a long time yeah i remember hearing that and i remember thinking do not let him be iron man because as much as he has a lot of you know tony starks you know yeah things where i'd be like yeah i could go with that it's a Tom Cruise movie then. I was mm -hmm. like, it's not an Iron Man movie. Yep. Robert Downey Jr., all the talent in the world, perfect fit, but not a Robert Downey Jr. movie. Yeah, and what's great about that movie, and I know we're way off topic here, but at that time, he was down. Totally. And, and that was a that, spooky that was almost, choice. That was almost like his return. 
Oh, it was. In fact, he credits that with yeah. being like, oh, best thing that ever happened to yeah. me. Because he was, he was, he's on a downturn. I think, I think this top, what we're saying right now, says a lot about Batman Forever. Because we're talking about yeah, Iron Man yeah, instead just, of Batman Forever. Right <laughs> talking about Batman Never. But Tommy, yeah. Tommy Lee Jones, he was a, he is a fantastic oh, he actor. A great actor. He's an American treasure. Mm -hmm. But having his face done up like a mutant pimp, you know, purple and all that stuff. When I think of what Nolan did, you know, the Aaron Eckhart, it's like, dude, that's craziness. Yeah, because I, I just saw that and I was like, so I just thought that not was a just, fan. Yeah, and and Carry again, I thought he was really solid. But the only thing I really liked about his character was how he twirled the cane. I like that. And they said he practiced so much on that. He wanted that down right. I tell you what else I liked. I liked at the very end when he had kind of plugged in mm -hmm. and he came across yep. kind of godlike. Yeah. Like, I know everything. I was like, okay, that's that's a little spooky right yeah. there. That's not Jim like, Carrey. He knows Batman's secret. Yeah. I mean, he was trying to get that earlier in the movie, too. And now he knows. Yeah. Well, and I'll tell you this. Then he went crazy. Well, Jim Carrey is, you know, like I said, with um, – Tom Cruise. It's a Jim Carrey movie. Yeah. So until to me, until he got to that part, I wasn't digging it. But then I was like, okay. So all right, in this one, Joel Schumacher, the bat suit, thumb up, thumb down. I, I'm going down on this one. Yeah. Terrible. I mean, it was obvious that all of the costuming had a very Joel Schumacher flair yep. stamp yep. to yep. it. Mm -hmm. uh, not good. Okay. Um, not at all. It looked it, it, it looked so slickly manufactured and plasticky and mm -hmm. you know I don't know. It just didn't have any personality like the last one. Yeah, to me, I, I it, this movie is just forgettable. What what about the Batmobile? Batmobile, I, I, it was all right. It was the Batmobile. It was it was the Batmobile. I mean that that's I guess the biggest compliment. It was the Batmobile. This is where. In the Batmobiles, though, they started taking and doing that huge fin in the mm -hmm. back that looked like this rubber, you know, noodle mm -hmm. kind of waving yeah. back and forth. And I was like, fail. Now, you know, Awful. Yeah, you know, one thing I totally forgot to mention about the Batmobile in Batman, uh, Keaton Nicholson, the shields. Shields up. Oh, that was good. I, I love that. That scene. was really good. I absolutely love that scene. How about when he remember when he even talked and he just yeah. said stop? Well, if you, if you watch <laughs> that and he's got a little little um, like goof in the movie there, because he he puts his hand up and says shield. Then the Batmobile comes in and you see him raising his arm again. Oh no way! Because yeah, so I've watched that many times. And every time I say like, wait, he already had his hand at his mouth. Why do you have to bring it back up? Oh, you caught a goof. Yeah, I was like, that was awesome. That was a deism. Yeah. We caught the goof. <laughs> Now I would give that a thumb down. Yeah. The the costume again, it, it lost something being mm -hmm. too slick. Thumb down. Grade. What what do you give it? A B C D F. I mean that that's gonna be a solid D right there. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I, there's nothing I can do to say. Let's bring this up a little bit. Yeah. D. And the only reason I wouldn't give it an F is specifically Val Kilmer. I didn't think was terrible in it. Yeah. The, the movie wasn't great, mm -hmm. but I like Val. Mm -hmm. He he didn't do bad. He just didn't have a lot to work with. Uh, Jim Carrey had some of his moments, yeah. but that was it. Yeah, that was absolutely it. I mean, yeah. I, I feel bad for Tom Lee Jones. I really do. They, he deserved better than to have that be his play in the superhero yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. He made it up with Men in Black, so it's oh, all that's good. that's true. That is no. very true. All right, the and last, the last one. one. Batman and Robin, again, Schumacher is back. He shouldn't have been back again. And why <laughs> is the big question. <laughs> that is exactly right. <laughs> Who believed in this guy's vision enough to say, we got to get that guy who did that thing. No. Somebody should have lost their job over And then that. they thought, you know what? Batman is not good enough. We need to have Robin and Batgirl with him. Well, of course. It's just like that whole Fonzie jump the shark thing, yeah. right? They're trying to jump the shark because they're like, man, we, we got to take and do something and get a little more play out of this. Let's add some more, you know, things. Yeah. It's like when you've seen the same sitcom and all of a sudden, this season on yeah. Growing Pains, a baby is coming. Oh, great. <laughs> That is a dated reference. That is. <laughs> I was just like, what? Come on, man. I'm old. <laughs> you you, you could have gone friends when they added a baby and stuff to it. Yeah, this anyway, week we on had, Friends. We couples now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but I didn't like Friends anyway. But anyway, I know I'm, the, I'm that guy. If um, you haven't seen Growing Pains, it, it, it was good back in the day, dude. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and then we had our villains. You had Arnold as Freeze. Uma Thurman as Ivy, which I, I didn't think she did bad. I thought she did horrible. Oh, my goodness. In fact, she was one of the things. She was so cheesy and 
thick in her deliveries. I was like, what is this? I mean, she was, she was putting it on. Like, I was like, dude, this is the 1966 camp approach. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was like, dude, you no, don't go there. Yeah. You know, terrible. See, well, to me, the thing that killed her part was Bane. <laughs> I mean, I like, he just like walked around like some, they just like, juiced had, him up and he, he, had, and he had no brains with him. Whatever she said, he just slowly walked and did. Dude. Almost awful. like, like Bane zombie. Yeah. I do give them a little credit for even having the idea to put Bane yeah. in, you know, in. Cause at that time he was a very pretty much young character. Yeah. He was, an, he was newer in the, in the DC universe. Mm -hmm. Now what about, um, uh, who was the other villain on there? Freeze. Freeze. Arnold. Well, I always like Arnold just because he, he throws around the occasional one-liner in there. But I just thought it was bad. N number one, none of these guys had a great story and you know to work with. And none of them had a, a, a really good direction that they were given. Because mm -hmm. like I said, it was silly. It was silliness. Robin and Batman. Okay. Clooney, not a bad idea. But you think about Clooney and you are saying, hey, I could see him as a billionaire playboy. Yeah. Okay. I, I could until the Batsuit come around. And then the nipples. Yes. The bipples, the bat nipples. When I saw that, I was like, this is a mistake. Who did that? And not only that, remember when they showed him getting dressed? Yeah. And you sh they show like him getting dressed and yeah. you see the cod piece. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there's a, a, a shot of the rear. You know, I'm like, yeah. who, yeah, who cross what? shot, butt shot. And I'm like, really? This is seriously. Yeah, this is hokey. This yeah. is terrible. I mean, I got nothing good about this movie. Well, Chris O'Donnell, the only good thing, it was almost like he was doing some parkour part of the time. Oh, yeah. Which. Well, he's supposed to be a yeah, yeah. trapeze, you know. Yeah, I just thought it was family. I thought that was fun the way he was doing that. Yeah, but I just didn't really see it fit into the movie all that great. Alicia Silverstone, beautiful girl, she and was very beautiful at the time. She was very popular at that time. Yeah, and then vanished, dude. I heard they, you know, she caught a lot of grief because everybody was giving her, you know, a hard time about her weight during the movie and stuff. Really? Yeah, and the yeah. thing is. You know, she was young and I always thought she was really skinny. But oh okay. well, no, she was really attractive, yeah. but. You know, and you put under that microscope, that's tough. Yeah. All right, so bat suit on that, definitely a yeah, thumbs that's down. That's way thumbs down. Um, the Batmobile, same thing with yeah. a big fin yeah. flopping around. It looks slow to me. Yeah. Thumbs down. Mm -hmm. What do you give it for a grade? I, I I would give it below F, but I really that's uh -huh. as far as we're going. I, I'd have to agree with you, and I don't think anybody else is surprised by the F. Yeah. I, I have to give it an F. Yeah. It's people to this day say, man, thank God. Because that was a genre-killing movie. They were like, we'll never have another superhero after that fiasco. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. After that, I, I was like, well, there goes all the, all the comic book movies. That, that, that's it. That was it. We're done. And didn't you leave out of there just completely ticked off thinking, yeah, what did you do? I, I got all hyped up and saw that. Yeah. Because I, I remember um, it wasn't – actually, it was not that movie. It was um, Batman Returns. I yeah. remember when I left the theater, I was almost ashamed to have my Batman shirt on. Yeah. And, and, and then, mad. And then after, mad. And after that, I didn't wear my Batman shirt to uh, until the, um, the Forever come out. And I was ashamed again. <laughs> so the next movie, I didn't even wear a Batman shirt. You're like, I'm not going to be that yeah, guy. Yeah. Next, uh, you know, if it comes out good, I will wear my Batman shirt. Dude. Well, speaking of that, you know, next time we come on here, we'll mm -hmm. talk about the next phase in the Batman the, movies and next phase. and you guys tune in to find out if he wore a shirt or not. <laughs> <laughs> he had a shirt on. Yes. I, I had a shirt on when I went to the theater, but was it a Batman the shirt? It wasn't it going in, but after that I wear it proudly, <laughs> but I mean, maybe I did or maybe I didn't. That's for, yeah, yeah, right. for that, future. That, yeah. That, that's the way to, to kill something right there. Wasn't it? <laughs> hey, well, I'll tell you what, for the first part of Batman movies and stuff, you know, we had the good, we had the bad, we had the ugly. Mm -hmm. um, but the funniest thing about all of it, I think that it was a process. You know, you had to have the lessons in, in those losses to figure out, okay, what's, you know, because I don't think without a Batman for, you know, forever, a Batman and Robin and these yeah. things, I don't think you would have had, you know, a studio who said, well, hey, let's do it like yeah. this guy Nolan wants to do it. Yeah. Let, let's get this. Put some edge on it. Let's see what we can do. We see what, what works. Play it straight and realistic. Yeah. So next week? Next week.
Next week, we'll go from Christopher Nolan and what do we have after that? What, what do we look forward to? Oh, yeah. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. A lot of, lot of things out there. This is a great time to be a comic book fan mm. if you're also a movie fan. Exactly. I was like, man, it's perfect. It's awesome. Because when I, I remember being a kid when I would watch or read my comics, I was like, why don't they make movies out of this stuff? This yeah. stuff is stellar. And that stuff that they're on, what is that? Yeah. Uh. So, yeah, let's just change it because somebody says, well, they won't watch this. Like, that's what we love. Yeah. White, thanks for having me in here. I'll be back next week if you'll have me. Hey, same bad time, same, same bad, bad channel. channel.